Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and I am back from vacation, which means that things are going to return to normal in terms of I am live streaming this evening, but I have oh, I have two of the best stories that I. It's so good. It's you're going to laugh at me, and I'm sure you're going to enjoy it. But okay, it's all right. Knock at the door. One second. It was the UPS guy. So let's let's open this up in the most proper way possible. I'll get it. Don't worry. Oh, it's cereal. Why did I stab the box? It's it's Apple Jacks. I don't even remember ordering these. I immediately regret the decision to stab open the box. <laughs> what have I done? Okay, hopefully they're tasty and delicious, right? Okay. Okay, but anyways, on to the two stories. Okay, number one, I went, you know, over Christmas break, I visited my friends and family, but most importantly, I visited my best friend, okay? And my best friend leads a very different life compared to me. We were basically almost the same person up to a certain point, but then he married a Korean girl when he was 20 years old, and I have nothing against that. She's actually a very, very nice girl, and he, she makes him super happy, but I was like, damn it, why did he get married before me? But whatever, okay. So I go over there, and they are... Okay, they're on like the same level as me in terms of humor. And, okay, we're playing Settlers of Catan, right? It's a board game. And it's not that complicated, but it's about resources and building cities. And it's sort of a game of skill and intelligence. If you ask me, it's about resources, but it's sort of like a... It's almost like an RTS. Like a Age of Empires, StarCraft II. So I was like, I'm going to destroy both of you. Well, despite the fact that my friend is probably... My best friend is probably more intelligent than me. I was like, I'm going to crush your little Korean girl wife. So you know what happened? One game, my friend crushes me, and the second game I was like, no, my brain can't handle this. I'm not letting a little Korean girl who has never ever played StarCraft II beat me. This is not going to happen. And she ended up beating me. So yes, if you want to point at me and say, Badger, you just lost a strategy and skill game to a little Korean girl. Yes, I did. I did. I am genuinely not an intelligent person. This is like the verifiable evidence of that. So I thought in return I would give her a shout out to her YouTube channel. And she has, it's kind of one of those channels, you know ones that I wouldn't watch. It's like cutesy fruitsy, artsy fartsy, too deep for badger type deal. But I think it's very interesting and she wants some sort of support because she's just starting out making her channel. So you need to go over there and say something that she doesn't get. You know like... I thought, like, Korean, she's gonna get StarCraft II references, right? She doesn't get any of them. So I'd be like, you need to construct additional pylons, Sarah. And she'd be like, what? She, she just wouldn't get it at all. And, like, you know, Zerg Master Race and Protoss OP and Terran. Terran doesn't even need micro. She, she didn't get anything like that. So you need to go over to her channel. I will leave a link in the description, probably like an annotation or something. Say something like, you just activated my trap card. Uh, Zerg Master Race, whatever you want. Just go over there and say something. Give her some sort of support because she deserves it and she makes my best friend very, very happy and I think she, she warranted it. So, okay, go over there and do that and then, okay, so the second story is about, okay, so for vacation I went out and I flew to San Francisco to visit a Chinese girl that I know very well. You guys probably know her from the live stream. I did end up visiting her, but okay. We were eating sourdough bread and we were at Fisherman's Wharf on New Year's Eve and we saw these break dancers, right? And I was like, oh God, I have to go see these guys. So then we go over, we see the break dancers and there's one guy standing up on a chair and there's four guys ready to break dance. And you know, they do all those sound effects like <laughs> DJ request, like whatever that is, like those sound effects. But he says that he's, he's gonna introduce the four guys. So the first guy is an Asian guy and his name is Lil Wonton. And, you know, they do all the, the jazzy stuff. My boy, Little Wonton! Like, okay, all that stuff. Okay, so Little Wonton is the first guy. He's Asian. Second guy is Black Licorice. The third guy is... Okay, I remember he, he said he said he was something like Dave Chappelle's younger brother, Lil Peanut. 
and then the last guy's name, you're just going to be like, wait, Badger, one of these is not like the other. So guess what the last guy's name is? The last guy's name is just Jamal. I was like, what? How did that, how did that sequence go correctly? It's like, okay, Lil Wonton, Black Licorice, Lil Peanut, and Jamal. Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll watch the breakdance. Let's do it. So, Lil Wonton goes, he's doing like head spins and he's crumping and he's like breaking his joints and like, it's awesome. So then Black Licorice goes, he's really good too. And so does Dave Chappelle's the younger brother, Lil Peanut. He's amazing. And then Jamal gets up, it's like, this is terrible, Jamal. What are you doing? Just Jamal, get, get it together, Jamal. You're making the rest of us food guys look bad. So... That's my other story. I know those are two stories that are probably just going to be a cool story, Badger, or bro. I want to see gameplay now, but okay, let's do that. I thought I'd just share those two stories because they were quite compelling to me. I know you're probably not going to agree with me on that, but yes, I got beat by a little Korean girl at a strategy game proving my unintelligence, and yes, Jamal needs to get it together. Okay, so that's all that I have to say, and that's the update, and... Here's the video. <laughs> Hello guys, my name is Russian Badger, and this is what I promised you. You guys know obviously the Russian Badger, that account on Battlelog, my account got banned. So I had to start a new one, and I decided to name it just out of pure, my own, for my own amusement, XXX Dark Scopes XX. I should have fit in like an X, XX MLG 420 phase, Yo Skrill, Drop It Hard, Drop Shot ZZ type something, but I didn't. I decided just to go with this, and this is the first game that I ever played on it, and uh, I know a lot of you really wanted to see it, you were like, Badger, first game, regardless of how terrible or how greatly or how mediocre the game is, please show it to us. So this is completely my first game ever on this new account, and it went, okay, please stay on the ground, Mr. Cloth Monster, we don't want you to get up, just stay on, stay on the ground where you belong, and... Okay, so I decided to go with the M416, and before you start throwing tomatoes at your screen and saying, how dare you, okay, this is my sort of rationale behind that. This team, the previous round, lost. And it's not just, oh, they lost. It's like, oh my god, Wetzel's Pretzels, what the fried chicken, how did you lose that badly? It was terrible. It was like, man, how do you, how are you that bad? And you guys know, I'm not obsessed with getting good scores or anything else like that, but... I don't think it's very nice to put up that kind of a fight. And like the previous round, this team gave up no fight at all. It's it's almost like the team, the, the, the enemy opposing team is just like, stop your struggling, just let it happen. And oh, I was going to steal the tank, but Mr. Guys decided to ruin my dreams. My dreams of stealing that tank, though, for real, though. I guess... I guess that's not gonna happen. And, oh, look. Look who's a private first class. And I even got the dog tag. And yes, this brings an end to my sort of camping in the spawn. I know a lot of you are not big fans of that. It's Badger, you catfish. Get out of the spawn, man. Nobody wants you there. And, okay. To continue what I was talking about, okay. So, since this team was very, very bad that I was playing on, I decided to go with the assault class because I know I can carry with the assault class harder than any other class. Yeah, I mean, you can do pretty well, and you can try to carry with the support of the engineer or the recon, but in my opinion, going into every single engagement full health is too valuable. That's how you win every gunfight, and that's how you carry a team, by being full health all the time, winning all your gunfights, and killing way more people than you die. Or Basically, you guys know what I'm talking about. Kill more people than people kill you, and you will be very, very successful most of the time if you are somehow directing yourself towards an objective. That will work most of the time. And here I'm just like, ring around the rosy, pocket full of posy. Don't touch me with their T90. I don't even like you at all. And it's, it's sort of an unpleasant experience, especially in these types of buildings when the tank just wants you. It's just breaking down every piece of cover you have. And it's, oh my god, man. It's so frustrating. So frustrating. And it ended up that I actually got out alive because this T90, I don't know if he was blind. It's like, was this tank being driven by a mole? I don't even understand. And yes, okay. I'm trying to finish this point. I remember some, one of you left, one of you left a comment recently that's so true. It's like, okay, here's a Badger video. And I get this guy here and, Ross is John, bro. And okay, you guys are totally right. I, I don't remember which one of you left this comment, but it was so true, okay? 
Badger video. 50% unfinished ideas, 25% saying okay, 25% gameplay, and 100% you love it. So I guess, I guess that's pretty true. That's just the auxiliary that I turn to most of the time is okay, and my ADD does not allow me to switch categories very often. But to try to finish that point, I chose the Assault class because I wanted to carry very hard, and I thought the M16 was something that you guys have seen way too much. So I said, why not the M416? Because I only, at this point, I only have, what, the M16, the da not even the Dow, just the M16 and the M416, I believe, unlocked. And there's the, there's the double kill. Okay. So I, I just thought, of my few options that I have, I might as well just go with the M416. There's nothing else that's really all that good. Because I have nothing unlocked yet, because I'm a level 1. And it's very, very difficult to sort of adjust to the iron sights when you're so used to... I'm so used to the Cobra and so used to the Red Dot on certain weapons. And you notice that I, I don't use the same thing across all weapons. You'll notice... Okay, like the Scar L or the... Yeah, okay, the Scar L is a perfect example. The Cobra on the Scar L is really bulky, right? But I think the Cobra on something like the AK-74M is perfect. It's nice and petite and it's very precise and it's, it's great. And clean and... Why are you standing on my... Oh, why? Why? He's standing on my Ukrainian rugs, and that's not cool, bro. You, that will get you shot in the face. You think a few things will get you shot in the face, you know? Uh, you try to steal some gangster's girlfriend's purse. Yeah, that'll probably get you shot in the face. But if you stand on my Ukrainian rugs, that's not cool, bro. And I finally get cleaned up with a cloth monster, and I'm just running around in their spawn, trying to get as many kills as I can. We are within seven tickets, and I thought... I thought if I totally shut down the flank, you catfish, come on, man. If I shut down the entire left flank, I thought my team would be able to, like, come up with something. At least defend B. But look, they get it with zero tickets left. Oh, God, why? And come here, you. Come here, Mr. Clan. You need caps, bro. That's that's what you get for following somebody around a corner, Mr. Mr. Cloth. Cloth Monster, excuse me. I was a little bit on the gassy side there. I had Qdoba last night. Do you guys even... Do you guys even know what Qdoba is? Well, I think a lot of you call it Brodoba anyways, but it's very delicious and it's very tasty. And you'll notice, okay, there was a progression in terms of my aim. You know, my aim near the beginning of the game was terrible. It was like, what? Are you shooting at that guy? You were shooting at the tree. Like, you're not even remotely close, Badger. What are, Badger, what are you doing? Badger, stop. Stop, Mr. Badger. Okay, so I get one guy, I throw the nade, I get the second guy for the double kill, and I don't end up getting anybody with the nade, which makes me very sad. And the tank pays some serious attention to me here. But those of you that have seen me on the live stream have known or have learned of my sort of devotion to, on this account, I will never ever use sights, all right? I won't use like a red dot or a cobra or anything. Just because a lot of you are really salty about, I think a few of you are really salty about the color tweaker and a few things about the FOV changer that I had and you're like, Badger had such an advantage with the color tweaker, that's the reason for his success. And so I was like, you know what bro, I'm going to play on default settings on this account, I'm not going to change any colors, I'm going to set my FOV to 90 just like you're able to in the in-game menu and I'm never going to use any attachments. And look, I will be just as good. It's almost like proving to those people that are like, Total, total naysayers, if you will. It. Oh, Badger's only doing well because he has the color tweaker that makes him be able to see people better. That's the only reason that he's good. And it's like, no. I will show you on this account that without attachments and using default settings, I can easily destroy a team much like I could on the other account. There's no real advantage. Or at least in my opinion, there's no real advantage that I had with the color tweaker. Except for, oh god, the sun sign hurts my eyes. I don't even like dubstep. But... At this point in time, I think it's very, very fun just to use iron sights. It's a, I got you, bro, and that pistol. Oh, it's going to be Oh, nope, 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 nope. He was going for the knife, and that it's hit and miss. Because I remember in Bad Company 2, there was something where if you hold your reticle of your knife when you have it out, or when you hold your reticle at a certain angle, you can really knife from a long distance, or you can always guarantee that knife right in the chest, which is probably the most difficult one to pull off in Battlefield 3, but I know in Bad Company 2 is a little bit similar, where if you have a certain technique, you can knife very, very efficiently and at a good percentage rate to the front. It's very successful, but I, I think very few people know how to do it. Most people just come up and just spam F on you. Just, oh, God, give me your oh, And you get shot in the face because you're just swiping around and killing nothing. You're just swiping in the air and wasting your time. 
And oh look, I think I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna crawl away at Wesley... Snipe! So, oh, with the bush monster. Or the cloth monster. And he, he got me over there. Okay, so I get one guy in this... At this point in time, I'm fairly confident. Okay, they have below 50 tickets. This is a very, very... I, I'm pretty sure it's 48. I don't think it's 64. I think it's 48 players. So I was very confident that we could win this. And what is the deal with the bush monsters, man? They're crawling around these bushes all the time. And I didn't want to... I, I, I guess I should have, in hindsight, I should have aimed down my sight a little bit more here. But I didn't want to poke my head out for too long or for an extended period of time. Because instantly, as soon as you poke your head out for too long, somebody takes it off. And, okay, I get this guy. And there comes a point where... It just got so hectic. Just so hectic. Like, I almost felt like I was the only one. Frosty John, bro! And I somehow got that guy I survived with 2% health. You know, sometimes it's in your favor, and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's... God damn it! Oh, I got that guy too. So, so like I was gonna say, a lot of the times it is, oh, look, he survived with 2% health, or he survived with 0% health, and every now and again, I get the benefit of the doubt, and I end up surviving with 0% health or 2% health. I'm practically a zombie, but I end up surviving. And this M240B was not really working out, so I decided, why not pick up something that's extremely good and easy to use? Like, when I think of easy to use, or when I think of beginner, I instantly think of the M16. I don't know if I have a whole lot of room to talk, because in this video, I'm using the... The M416, which is kind of in the same category of point, click, kill, win game, basically. Here's a tutorial about how to win in Battlefield 3. Equip the M16 or the M416 and left click. There you go. Like, that's that's almost how I feel about some of these assault rifles. They're very, very easy to use. I wouldn't necessarily say that the AN94 is in the same category or the AK-74M because... I mean, obviously one's burst, a little bit hard to use. Sometimes it jams, you know what I'm saying, with the N94. And with the AK-74M, it has such a low rate of fire, you really have to control your close range engagement. But really, I don't think that the M416 or the M16 take a whole lot of skill to use. And I somehow got mortared, like, you catfish, man. This Carl sitting 20 feet back, so I get one guy. Come here, Carl! Oh, I get the second guy. Oh, I get taken down with the FAMAS, and they win the game with three tickets just look at the scoreboard it's so silly it's so silly why is it that it, it, oh, it's just a little frustrating but okay I'm not really I ain't even mad I ain't even mad though I ain't even mad though okay but that okay this is why I made the name dark scopes right there so that I could for my own amusement I could have a level 2 XXX dark scopes I guess I turned level 2 in this game I guess I'm not a level 1 anymore but this is my first game, and I just thought, what, how fun would it be just to destroy all of the enemy team and just... Oh, gosh. Too much fun, man. Too much fun. Just, it's so much fun just to see... or so amusing just to see a name like XXX Dark Scopes at the top of the leaderboard with the ace pin, and he's level 2. It's, it's genuinely humorous to me. But I thought that I'd share this first game with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it very much. I will see you guys at the live stream this evening, and I'll probably have a few more videos in the next couple of days. So I'll see you guys next time. I'll feed in and Bisbalt. My name's Dark Scopes. Oh God, this name. But okay. I'll see you guys next time. I'll feed in and Bisbalt and later. Yeah, just rush it. Man up and rush it. Whatever, I need to die anyway, so let's man up and go and do it. What's up, guys? What's up? What's up? What's up? There, you just walk in and use on the objective. It's not even hard. People act like it's hard. It's like, bro, it's not hard. I just did it in my sleep, man. Come on, man. He didn't even save my life, though. No. It's all you do. You just walk up and you just kind of do it. And that's the end of your story, alright? It's not hard. I don't know what's going on, I'm not going to revive everybody, woo, revive train, woo, woo, how am I still alive, I shouldn't be alive right now, I got Milos too, that's all you do, you just walk up and you just, you on the objective and you win the game, that's it, oh look at me Mr. Mark.
Bro, I don't think I told you that I ball so hard mother truckers want to find me, right? Yeah, that's how you that's how you get dates, bro. You just walk up and you just like Okay, so this is the first thing you got to do. You just got to walk up and just be like, "Hey, we're going on a date right now. This restaurant, it's really expensive and I can easily pay for it." And then you just all of a sudden take these out of your pocket. And you walk away. It's not hard to do. Like I don't know if I can wear these well with my headset. Yeah, these are not gonna. These are not gonna cut it with my headset. <laughs> but yeah, it's pretty well all you do. You just, and, if, and if she doesn't like it, you just say, "Deal with it." I'm taking your best friend, and then you go with her best friend, and she's jelly perpetually, forever. Seriously.